Hi, Eric Gibo, ericgibo.com, and today I'm going to speak about the mass marketing that Leica is doing in Hasselblad now. And uh, well, I'll tell you right now, I'll explain to you. Let's start. I know that many people run away when they hear the word smartphone, but I'm not going to speak just about smartphone, but also about cameras. So stay here, please. Okay. So yesterday, uh, OnePlus 9 Pro, uh, well, OnePlus announced that the 9, OnePlus 9 Pro will have a Hasselblad camera, or, or at least have the signet, Hasselblad signature on the phone. Okay. So many people started to say, "Oh, great! There will be a Hasselblad camera in that in that smartphone." And that's not the way it is. So uh, this way of doing marketing existed already when uh, Leica uh, signed the, the cameras that go uh, into Huawei uh, smartphones. And here is a bit, the big problem I want to tell. Many people, when they buy a Huawei smartphone, they think they will get a Leica camera. Or when they, buy, uh, they will buy a OnePlus 9 Pro, uh, they think they will get a Hasselblad camera. And that's not the way it is. When you get this Huawei, there is no such thing as a Leica camera in there. It's a marketing collaboration, sometimes technical collaboration, in the way that uh, Leica may help design the lens, or may design the lens, or help fine-tune a few things. But they're not building this camera, they're not making it, okay? Same thing with Hasselblad. Actually, on Jakarta Photo, they were saying that it was not even clear what Hasselblad was going to do in this phone. There, there was even thinking or telling that they would probably do just do the external coating of the lens. So, that's crazy. If sign Hasselblad, you just done the coating, that's ridiculous. So if you buy this phone thinking you get a Hasselblad or Leica camera, this is not the case, okay? So why do this brand do that? Well, for marketing. First, many people don't even know what a Leica camera is. For many people, the word Leica or the name Leica is a dog, well, uh, actually a female uh, dog, a bitch that went to space. Well, it's not Leica, it's Leica. Or if they know it's a camera, they tell it's a Russian camera. It's not Russian, this is German, okay? So, uh, it's important for brands like Leica or Hasselblad to get people, mass people, to hear the word. Why? Because you don't know their short-term or long-term or mid-term marketing or strategy. Maybe Leica want to sell cheaper cameras to more people, or Hasselblad want to sell uh, more affordable cameras to mass market. So it's important that the name is known by these people. Actually, this strategy is not new. When uh, Apple was uh, having serious problem and they uh, issued the iPhone, thanks to the iPhone, many people got to know the name of Apple because in the US, many people know uh, Apple computers because they're really well known and it's a big share of the market. But in the rest of the world, Apple share of, mar of the market it was really small, okay? Thanks to the iPhone, many people got to see the Apple logo and now buy Apple computers, okay? So this is similar strategy to get people to know it. So uh, if I put my Leica name on a UA uh, smartphone in a mass market like China or Eastern uh, Asia or S South America, wherever, and people uh, don't know what Leica is, they get to know the name. Or if I am Huawei, I want to sell a smartphone in Europe and people are not too trusting a Chinese brand, whatever, but they see the word Leica, the name Leica, and they know about Leica cameras, then they feel this is a serious company. So they both win. This is a win-win situation. Same thing with Hasselblad. They probably do this for this reason. But it doesn't mean that you get a Hasselblad or Leica camera. You just get a branding and some kind of cooperation, technical operation. If so, uh, maybe just some consulting. No more than this. Actually, Hasselblad already did that with uh, DJI drones. Uh, DJI is has a big share of uh, 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 Hasselblad ownership, so uh, they own a big part of it. So last year or two years ago on the Mav Mavic Pro 2, I think, uh, they have a, a camera that is branded Hasselblad. Why? Because for the same reason. So uh, it's 
helps uh, Hasselblad to be more uh, seen better and people who don't really trust DJI drone they've maybe trusted more because it has a Hasselblad camera signed okay but doesn't mean the camera is made by Hasselblad it is maybe design or technical uh, help or consulting and there is a, a signature there that says Hasselblad and that's it but same thing happened with uh, Leica when they want to get to the mass market with cameras uh, Leica cameras are really expensive so if you go to a Leica website, you will find some cameras that are affordable. And what camera are they? The V-Lux, the D-Lux, the C-Lux. These are not Leica cameras. They are Leica branded. These are Panasonic cameras. A V-Lux 5 is a Lumix FZ1000 Mark II. A D-Lux is a D-Lux 7 is a Lumix LX uh, 100 Mark II and the Silux 2 is actually a Lumix TZ200. So, uh, what is that? Well, they have uh, an agreement. First, I can show you some picture of both, but before, at, at the beginning of this cooperation, uh, they were clearly, clearly exactly the same camera, just the logo was changing. Now they do some uh, external. Uh, look a bit different the grip is a bit different or or the way the flash integrate is a bit different the color choice is different and also they give uh, well, more guarantee and more things but when you get any of these three cameras vlux deluxe silux you are buying a panasonic camera for 200 or 300 extra euros okay so it's not a bit more it's a lot more okay it's your choice uh, you are free to spend the money you want and if you want to have a Leica branded camera, this is a way to go, an affordable way to go. But don't believe you have a Leica camera because you don't have a Leica camera. You have a Panasonic camera. It's true. When you look at the lens, it says Leica. Whether you buy the Leica version, whether you buy the Panasonic Lumix version, it's written Leica. Why? Because Leica is designing these lenses. They don't build them, they don't make them, they design them. Which is not bad to have Leica design your lens. But they are not made by Leica. Same on the Huawei phone. I mean, if you think that a Leica uh, lens for M mount, the cheapest one is about 1500 euros. And normally it's at 3000 euros, okay? So why should they put you a real Leica lens in a Huawei phone that cost you 700 or 600 euros. Let's be serious. Why are they going to put a real Leica lens in a C-Lux Mark II uh, that costs 800 euros or 1000 euros? Uh, let's be serious. This is not happening. Actually, uh, Leica fame is made on its glass. And to make this glass, they use a special sand. So maybe you don't know how glass is made. Uh, you actually melt sand uh, with some component, okay? And you get an extra, uh, you get some glass. And according to the, the, the ingredient, the, the sand you use, you get better or less quality, plus the knowledge of building this, this glass, okay? So Leica, real, original, genuine Leica uh, glass is not used on any of these lower uh, level or le lower market uh, cameras. Uh, lenses sorry so cameras when it's integrated okay so really or smartphone so really when you get this special Leica glass you have to spend a lot of money so they're not giving you this glass so if you buy a Leica uh, C-Lux instead of TZ200 by Lumix or Panasonic uh, you're getting fooled so this really is something that really make me really angry because people are getting fooled you, you you want to have a leica camera you just cannot afford it so you buy oh i'll buy a, you say i'll buy a vlux 5 thinking you get a leica you're not getting a leica you're getting a panasonic okay so uh when you speak about this many uh leica defenders or uh ambassador they tell you yeah but leica uh, put different color profile in their uh, leica version of this panasonic bullshit bullshit you can look all over the internet. There are no one that precisely show you a difference in aspect. You can get both cameras yourself, make a picture with a VLUX 5 and with the FZ1000 Mark II, 
and you get the same colors the same look everything the same so this is marketing bullshit actually on leica website they never mention the word panasonic nor they speak about different color profiles so this is bullshit these are panasonic cameras branded as leica that's it period and the grip may be different the color options may be different color outside uh, color may be different and that's it but they give you extra guarantee or things like this but that's it this is a panasonic camera but on the other hand you know uh, many people fall in the other side extreme side it means that some people do know that these are not real leica cameras and are made by panasonic and they extrapolate to think that every leica camera are made by panasonic and it's not true either when you look at a leica m10 or a leica whatever leica uh, uh, like m10 or whatever no no not whatever but an m10 on an sl2 sl uh, leica q all this these are made by leica although they may have some components that come from another um, sensor maker or whatever or whatever but it may it, it is not a rebranded camera this is really a leica camera okay so don't think that because of vlux is actually uh, uh lumix okay or deluxe or silux that on m10 is actually a panasonic camera it has nothing to do with camera with it has nothing to do with panasonic okay and uh, maybe some some help i don't know but principle doesn't have nothing to do it's true that the latest panasonic uh, full frame that they made the two version well uh they do have uh, compatibility they have an agreement with leica and sigma and make something together but it's different okay i don't speak about this i speak about the rebranding vlux deluxe and silux rebranded okay but this is not the first time this happens uh first uh, hasselblad uh, in the year 1998 they presented the expand which is a analog camera a panoramic camera and it was actually a fujifilm camera the tx1 and in Japan, it was sold as Fujifilm TX1. In 2003, they issued the TX2 and the Xpan Hasselblad Xpan uh, 2. And in Japan, it was sold as Fujifilm with uh, Fujinon lenses. And in the rest of the world, it was sold as Hasselblad with Hasselblad branded uh, lenses. But it's actually, it was almost it was a technical uh, collaboration but it was mostly made by fujifilm they, are, they were actually rebranded fujifilm cameras so uh, this is why uh, this is not something new and people should know what they are buying so it's where you get to know that there are two kind of collaboration you have marketing collaboration and technical collaboration when it's a marketing collaboration you get to know about it because leica wants you to hear the name so they when they put it on a huawei they tell it and huawei is really interested that you hear their name and tell that they collaborate with huawei same thing with hasselblad and ggi hasselblad and oneplus they need that because it helps both companies to get their name spread to mass market okay and this uh, is not something new uh, when you look at the french designer pierre cardin who uh, died a, a few weeks ago a month ago uh, rest in peace uh he's, he let he, he he sold his name to any shit you could get a basic uh, uh ball pen and have a pierre cardin logo on it or buy anything you would just pay and you can use his logo his name and th that's the way it was so i think this is kind of uh, name prostitution S sorry for him I, actually i'm happy that he made a lot of money with that but the reality that you could get any shit product and get his logo on it so this marketing agreement is really almost sometimes a fraud because you feel like you get the genuine product and you're not getting it you ju you're just getting a logo on a product that may be good or not a panasonic camera good cameras but mm, when you put a logo on it it's still a, a leica logo on it it's still a panasonic camera okay and then you have technical collaboration cooperation and very often you don't even know about it because the seller doesn't want you to know uh, screen iphone screen i made by samsung an iphone is not apple is not interested that you actually know about that about this because they are the first competitors so if you're doubting between an iphone or samsung camera uh, samsung cam uh, smartphone 
you're not too sure if you know it's the same uh, the screen is made by the other one that you may feel it's the same product when it's not because a phone although the, the what you see is actually a screen it's not just a screen you have the processor and many things behind the screen is just part of it it's the visible part of it so they don't tell you about that or when you buy a mercedes uh, an entry-level mercedes car the engine is made by Renault in many of these uh, entry levels. So if you knew that uh, this uh, hard cash you're paying for your Mercedes actually has a Renault engine, then maybe you would not buy. So that the seller doesn't tell you, oh, this is a, an entry level uh, a Mercedes, but it's great. You already That's already a Mercedes. No, it's not already a Mercedes. This is a Mercedes chassis and something that a Mercedes and the engine is Renault. So, why shouldn't you buy a Renault then? Well, because uh, rust doesn't attack a Mercedes as fast as a Renault. Yes, but if your car has no rust, but the engine is not working, we're on the same point, okay? So these things are getting, uh, it's almost fraud when you are not informed. You have the right to know. So this is actually why I made this video, because I'm really tired of listening or hearing people telling I've got a Leica camera. Oh yes, what do you have? A Huawei phone. Come on. Or oh, I've got a V-Lux or D-Lux or C-Lux. No, you don't have a Leica camera. And the same thing is going to happen with Hasselblad. So I wanted to tell about it, but I, I want to make a statement. You are free to buy what you want. And if you want a Leica logo, a Hasselblad logo, and you, it's not a problem for you that it's not a genuine Leica, a genuine, uh, Hasselblad, this is your problem, your choice. I respect it, but I've got the, the right to inform about it. Okay, I hope you like this video. If you feel it may interest other people, please share it on social networks. If you have not done yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, the small button down here and also a small bell. If you click on the bell, you get notified when I upload a new video, my website, erigibo.com. If you have any question, you can leave a comment below. Below, I give you links of my gear on Amazon and also links to other parts of my YouTube channel. And also, I give you a link of my uh, PayPal account in case you want to make a donation. I really appreciate it. Please take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye.